Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Snowbreak. Now, in today's video, what I want to do is talk about the really low revenue for the month of September. I'm going to be going over the actual reason why the revenue is that low. I have seen a lot of copium or hopium um, comments like, oh, it's because a lot of people decided to move over to the PC client in the month of September. Ah, uh, that sounds like copium to me. And I've seen a lot of other comments like people decided to quit. It technically makes sense because um, honeymoon period is technically over. The first events we got, that's usually when a lot of people decide whether they want to stick with the game or quit. So technically in the month of September, around that time is when people start dropping off. However, I don't think that is why the revenue dropped this low. So the month of August before September, it was 1,300,000. So that was actually very, very high. But the next month, in the month of September, we only got 300k. Now, I'm going to say this, the, the thing I'm using right now is from Sensory Towers, however, it does not include the PC clients. Now, with games like Snowbreak, where PC client is the best way to play the game, and I feel like some of the core players of Snowbreak, so the core people that spend money in this game, are spending on the PC client. So I do think the revenue for Snowbreak is definitely a lot higher than 300k, but we need to understand why the revenue for the mobile players is quite low, which honestly should be the same in the PC clients in the PC clients hopefully in the month of September that's where a lot of people was I mean the month of October August or October sorry that's when a lot of people are spending the month of September not really any reason to spend simply because September was technically a dry period for snow break that is why the revenue is this low September was extremely boring up to the end of September where we got ourselves the new event however it still would make sense and understandable why the revenue is this low for snow break now in terms of how snow break is designed i honestly don't think it's designed in a way that they will be able to get a lot of money because um having a long ass event is extremely extremely bad for revenue simply because after two weeks of playing that event maybe three weeks a lot of people are bored however in snow break the events last for a very very long time over one month and during the end of the event or the second part of the event they release a a standard banner as a new banner quote unquote and obviously no one is spending money in that and snowbake should already know that and that is why no one spends money on standard banner characters and therefore the revenue is low so the banner we got um in the month of september was i believe um i believe the, the banner for um shang Xing was probably still going on however it definitely ended and then we had the standard banner for um life however even though life is a great character no one was spending money for that simply because she's a standard banner character you will eventually lose 50 50 to her so there was no reason to be going balls deep on this banner no reason for wills to technically summon um or try and you know completely max her out so that's why the revenue was not that high now i do think obviously people were moving over to the pc clients but not as much as many people make it sound like because in the month okay if you're, if you're a hardcore spender for snow break you know, that means you have disposable income you probably have a pc that can run the game so why would you be playing on the mobile version now i will say this right now i play on the mobile version and i play on a pc client however i don't actually play on the mobile client a mobile mobile version that makes no sense but i'm trying to say that i do have the mobile version on my phone but the only reason why i have it is if i want to do my daily so fast like um easy rotation for my stamina just go into the game do um um what's it called sweep sweep of my phone go into and do, and do my dailies done i can do that within five minutes on my mobile device and that's why i use my mobile device plus i only actually spend on my mobile device i don't top up with the pc clients i know several people who do this where the game has a pc client but they don't spend on the pc client they go over to the mobile device it's easy swipe your phone you're, you already have your bank app on your phone it's quick and easy if you want to go with like hardcore spending amount so you might as well spend on your mobile device as well so i just do that however in snow break it looks like if you buy something on the if you buy the currency like the premium premium currency um you actually do, it doesn't transfer to your pc client so that's what i've noticed so when i bought on my mobile device when i logged back in the pc client it showed a zero like i had nothing there but when i logged back on my mobile device it was still there so i do think that is something 
that a lot of people need to know about as well so yes in terms of why is the revenue this low it is not because players decided to move over to the pc clients some did but they already did that within the first few months of playing snow break why would anyone switch over to it why would a lot of people decide to switch over to the pc clients in the third month if um if they have the device to already do that now also in terms of people are quitting the game technically that's what happens with every single gacha game that gets released the third month after honeymoon period is over a lot of people quit it's just how it is so it isn't a bad thing as well it's just the cycle of every single gacha and new gacha game third month is always like the month where you see a drastic decrease in revenue simply because people quit as well that is something we should also take a look at as well but i don't think it's like wow everyone quit but i did do a poll and uh, it was like are you still playing snow break i think i did that in the month of like september let me quickly go ahead and see if it's still up or when i did it so i did a poll are you still playing snow break on the 19th of august and i do believe i had the option or i did not so maybe this is not as skewed a little bit never mind let's ignore the poll for now um i will make a new poll going over are you still playing snow break have no yes and i never played the game so that it's a lot fair or i want to see the results or something like that so we don't have any false votes or whatnot but um yeah in terms of revenue it is gone it has gone low i just hope that revenue just doesn't decrease even more i do think the pc clients will probably have more revenue than the mobile device simply because the core and main players of snowbreak are playing on the pc client they're willing to spend on that i'm not sure if they're doing the same thing i do where they log into the mobile device and spend there but um that's something we need to know um and uh, i do hope the revenue just doesn't go lower because it's kind of daunting to see like the mobile version is just not doing that great um 300k is technically good for a down period i just hope that in the next revenue we see it doesn't go lower than 300k that would be very very uh worrying a bit and especially when we got the new banner when was this banner released actually i believe it was like early i don't know late september so the latest banner for um who was it again for haru that came out yeah so that came out on the 21st of september so we had like nine days ten days no yeah nine days before the month of um october so i'm hoping the month of october the revenue isn't bad but like i said the way snowbreak is designed it isn't a game that's designed to always make a lot of money there is a long event period which a lot of people get bored within the first two weeks and then we have a, a banner that lasts for a very long time which i'm pretty sure if you're summoning for the banner if you're like uh someone who spends a lot in the game you've already spent within the first week so the banner is just there sitting on your screen for two weeks you don't really feel like summoning anymore so there you go and then we get a new banner that comes out and it's a standard banner banner standard character banner no one wants to summon on that that's a dead period and uh, banner lasts for about 21 days absolutely boring snooze fest no one wants to spend in that revenue goes down for about 21 days and um bam that's that explains the revenue completely it isn't because the game is bad it's not because the game is dying it's just i it looks like the cycle snowbreak will be going through in terms of how the way the game was designed however like i said it could also be like players quitting um it makes sense if it is as well not like the huge drastic change was just because players were quitting but i do feel like about 10 percent of that was probably due to players quitting um this game does not have the great like track record in terms of public opinion towards the game so it would make sense that people were quitting the game as well um obviously pc clients have been very very popular but i feel like if you're a hardcore member of snowbreak or a player of snowbreak you already play the pc client from day one or first week of the game being released not a mass um movement from the mobile to pc clients in the month of september nah i don't think so um maybe i'm wrong with me right tell me down in the comment section we don't have actual numbers to prove me right at the moment because um obviously it's very hard to track the pc clients to figure out how much they earn um but yeah that's all i wanted to make a video on hopefully this explains the revenue it's not because the game is dying i don't think we need to wait for a couple more months to get a better or clearer idea on how good snowbreak is but in terms of how much people are talking about the game 
not that many people i ain't gonna lie not that many people um it's been your boy ac gamer don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on snow break don't forget to like and subscribe it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out